there's a significant movie opening up on Netflix this week. Rebel Moon. The, in certain circles, highly anticipated new Zack Snyder film that is not just a Zack Snyder film, but it is a... You know, it's not it's not just a Zack Snyder single film, but it's part one of two and what they're hoping is going to be a cinematic universe. Now, we already talked last week about the fact that the critic ratings have come out and they're pretty low, despite the fact that the critics quite liked Zack Snyder's last film, Army of the Dead. They didn't like this one so much. But that brings us to today's Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Listen, guys, if you've got a question for our show and you'd like to hear your voice on our show, go ahead and call our Mint Mobile hotline anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 951-268-4259. And today's question is about, will the audience score for this movie that hasn't come out yet? Uh, check it out. Good morning, John Campion crew. It's Theo calling from Phoenix. Last week, we had the critic review of Rebel Moon, which really wasn't good. Unfortunately, like the next day, reviews started coming out for the audience scores. And surprisingly, it was higher than expected that we all wanted to see. But the funny thing is, if you read through the, uh, the audience scores, you found out that most people who were writing reviews haven't even seen the movie. Do you think this is a bad image on the movie? And do you think it's also a bad image on some of what people refer to as Snyder Causes, that they are the ones writing these reviews just to give this movie a good boost? Please, let me know with your team and you. Have a wonderful day. All right. Thanks a lot for calling in, Theo. And yeah, see, here, there's something kind of interesting <laughs> has come up. As noted, Rebel Moon has not come out yet, right? The audience has not seen it yet. Now, Rebel Moon did not have a true limited release. It had a couple of uh, in-theater screenings, though. There were a, a small handful of in-theater. Not a legitimate limited release, but a small handful of those things. Now, I, just to set the stage for this, for theatrical movies that come out in theaters, Rotten Tomatoes a few years ago, because of people abusing the audience score system, Rotten Tomatoes implemented a new system for theatrically released films where they only really highlighted verified audience scores, which means the, an audience member submitting a score had to be able to verify that they actually saw the movie through Fandango's ticketing system, Regal's ticketing system, or AMC's ticketing system. And if you had actually seen the movie, your audience score gets counted. The problem is... Rotten Tomatoes has no such safeguards for things that are coming out on streaming. They have no such safeguards. Now, Zack Snyder's last movie, a movie I quite enjoyed and that the critics quite enjoyed, Army of the Dead. Check it out. So Army of the Dead had a limited release prior to, to its streaming thing. I got to go to a movie theater and go watch it. A lot of you guys did too. And like I said, it has a very respectable 67%. The critics generally liked this film. They enjoyed the movie. And it has a 75% audience score. Now, remember, this movie had a legitimate limited release run. And look how many verified ratings it has. Look how many ratings it has. 250 plus. Okay. Now let's jump over to Rebel Moon. A movie that has not yet aired to audiences. It has a thousand plus My God. ratings on it. That's a thousand plus trust me, bros. That's a thousand plus <laughs> trust me, bro. Trust me. <laughs> um, for a movie that has not yet come out yet. Now, and would before, you call that the Zack Suit Mafia? <laughs> this, but, but but before we blame this, <laughs> before we blame this just on Zack Snyder fans, I want to also point out the opposite is true too. Because when I went in and started reading through them, not only, first of all, Kudos to the people who were honest, because I went through a bunch of them. They just honestly said, I can't wait to watch this movie. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> a. Like, well, that's that's you can't put it a critic. You can't put it a review if you're saying it. But hey, at least they were being honest. So there's a bunch of honest people in there saying, I know this movie's going to be great. OK, fair enough. At least they're being honest. As I read through some of the ones claiming to see the movie, you can see you can clearly see they didn't. But out of the thousand plus, by the way. This morning, that was at 500 plus. Today, it's at a, right, a few hours later, it's at 1,000 plus. 
Guys, we want to take a moment to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Give yourself the gift of insane savings this holiday season with Mint Mobile's best wireless deal of the year. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three-month plan, you'll get another three months for free. That's six months of premium wireless service for the price of three. And Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from home while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month. Seriously, I can't think of a better gift than turning an overpriced wireless bill into into just $15 a month with Mint Mobile. I've told you guys many times since switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my mobile service plan with Mint than I was on the previous big carrier who was my provider. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily and effortlessly with eSIM. So again, for a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months free by going to mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. There were a handful of screenings that an audience could see, just a couple across the country. So there are some verified scores. Out of the thousand plus that are in there, Anybody want to take a guess how many, actually, Ray heard me say it. So, Rob, you want to take a guess out of those thousand plus, <laughs> how many are verified that they actually saw the movie already and they've submitted a, a score for it? Do you want to take a guess? 75. No. Less. 50? Another guess? 50? How many? Less. 30? Less. 26? Less. Less than six? Less than six. Zero? Three. Oh, I said two. Oh. I was off by one. <laughs> Rick. Wow. Jonathan was only off by one. That's not good. Three. At least as of the last time I checked about a half hour ago. Yeah. Three of them were verified. Now, listen, again, don't just think because, you know, Theo in the question is asking, do you think this looks bad on the, the Snyder fans? It's not just the Snyder fans because I went through and while there are a bunch of five stars, this movie's awesome. You didn't see it, bro. There are also a, a bunch of them that are like one star. Zack Snyder sucks. One star. This is terrible. It's like you didn't see the movie either. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it, it's it's a problem that goes both ways. And this is something that Rotten Tomatoes needs to fix. They fix the theatrical one because they put in the verified things. But then it becomes confusing to audiences. So it's like, wait a minute. Can we trust the Rotten Tomatoes audience scores? or not because they have this verification system for movies but just anybody can go on to rottentomatoes.com and give a score to a something a streaming tv show or a streaming movie whether they've seen it or not and go one star Zack snyder sucks or five stars the critics don't know what they're talking about the same critics that liked his last movie army of the dead I, I still, I laugh hilariously still when I, I still get these comments from people saying, this is all conspiracy because the critics hate Zack Snyder. Really? Because his last movie they seem to like and his movie before that they seem to like. So now they don't like, no, they just didn't like the movie. Now, listen, I'm not saying Rebel Moon isn't going to be good. I happen to like Army of the Dead. Zack Snyder's given me one of my favorite comic book films of all time in Man of Steel. I love Legends of the Guardians. Who doesn't love 300? I mean, I am Going into Rebel Moon really crossed my fingers, and I hope it's great. I'm just saying this is yet another example, Rob, where Rotten Tomatoes has got to do something about their audience system for when it comes to things that are streaming on a streaming service because this is all bullshit. Like, that 72 could legitimately be a 90 or legitimately be a 3. Yeah. Like, it, it's just, it just creates confusion. People go in there to man manipulate the system for their own personal agendas, whether it's giving it one star, giving it five. They got to do something to fix this. Anyway, what do you think about, you know, Rotten Tomatoes' system right now, and, and where's your anticipation level like for Rebel Moon at the moment? Well, I mean, look, I, I think that any kind of online aggregate review system is open to being gamed, whether whether advantageously or if people don't like somebody to go on and say, fuck that guy, I don't like that guy, you know, screw him, he's terrible, or her, whatever. That's not cool. And I don't know how you would defend against something like that, 
but it isn't fair. I don't think it's fair either way. That's why I like the verification system that they have, which I think is important to figure that out. But in terms of, you know, here's the thing about Zack Snyder. Uh, he's made movies I've really liked. Like I was so, his first feature, Dawn of the Dead, was a remake of one of my favorite movies of all time. And I went in there with my arms crossed and I was all snooty, like, F this guy. How can he remake one of my favorite? <laughs> and you know what? Within 10 minutes, I was won over by the opening sequence with Sarah Pauly and the the Johnny Cash, um, when the man comes around, a uh, uh, credit sequence. I'm like, oh. And the one thing I love about Zack Snyder is he seems like the nicest guy in the world. He's out there making the movies he wants to make. Whether you like him or not, you can identify a Zack Snyder movie. I mean, he's got a thing. He's got a technique. He's got a style. I mean, I don't think he's ever going to be considered Stanley Kubrick, but you know, he's Zack Snyder. And I, I, whether I like his movies, like I really didn't like Army of the Dead, and I was disappointed by it. But loved Man of Steel, like you did. I really liked the Snyder cut of Justice League. Um, I uh, enjoyed Watchmen to a certain extent, but and Sucker Punch. I, I look at Sucker Punch and I ask myself, how did this movie get made? But the only person that would have ever made that movie is Zack Snyder. Yep. So I will <laughs> fairly say, I can fairly say that, hey, it might not have been my cup of tea, but I watch it in awe and wonder because I don't know how he got it made, but only he could make it. So at least he's out there and, and I wish him the best. And I always go into something like Rebel Moon, which it's a remake of Seven Samurai. It's a remake of Battle Beyond the Stars. It's a remake of Star Wars. I don't care. I want to watch it. I, I hope it's great. Uh, it, it's a big, epic, original, even though it might have been first proposed as a Star Wars project. An original, I'll put quotes around it. But still, I mean, you know, if I was a kid, I would have been so excited for this movie because I like science fiction, action, adventure, space opera. Bring it on. You, What's not to like? You know, a part of this audience system, too, there's a, a bunch of people who don't really rely on um scores but we'll look at it just by glancing at it and be like oh the audience seems to like it yeah i'm wait, gonna give it a shot um the, and it's all lies the system is just as bad as amazon i was looking for a chef's knife uh two days ago like on amazon and i was like this one is really cheap has a bunch of reviews i look at the reviews they're for some sort of drink packet people people had reviews for like a drink packet and i was like this seems just as bad when you do this. I don't know how to fix this system. Maybe they could they could have like a little check mark that says, "Have you seen this movie yet?" No, or like an anticipation. They're just gonna lie. Anticipation level. Oh yeah, you're right. They're just gonna lie. They're yeah, gonna click true, the true. yes. I thing. didn't think about it that way. But they're, they're they're this does need to be looked upon because people are gonna be looking at just the score and not really digging into it. So maybe they might even assume, "Oh, this is out already." Like things like that, and they go searching for it and realize that it's not out. There's, there's just a mess, I think, with and, the uh, audience. You know, look, I, honestly, the only thing I think Rot Rotten Tomatoes can do about this is take down the audience score for streaming stuff. Until if you can't have a way to verify mm -hmm. that an audience person has actually seen, because everybody, too much of the audience today is about their agenda. Whether, and we'll just use the Zack Snyder as an example okay but it's not limited it's certainly not limited to Zack snyder at all but e people either have their anti-zack snyder agenda or their pro zack snyder agenda and they don't really care they're just going in and i honestly i think until they come up with a way to verify that somebody's actually watched the content they're coming in to rate they should just take it down I, I really just don't think they should have an audience score for streaming stuff just have it for the stuff that you can verify that people saw the movie and until then, I, I don't really know what the answer is. And again, if any of you go and see, well, look, it's got a 72% audience score. It's all a lie. Any one-star review saying, this movie sucks, lie. They didn't see it yet. It hasn't come out. Five-star, this movie's the best, lie. They haven't seen it yet. It hasn't come out. Um, and uh, I just, what can I say? It's just, again, rot they've got to fix this system. They really got to figure out a way to fix this system for streaming stuff. I'm going to put my review up for Blade already. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I can do this. I'm going to put my review Six for stars, baby. Six stars Come on, Mahershala. for Blade. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.